the issues, tell them why the subject is actually relevant to them. Because after all, if, if you've chosen to do criminology and you suddenly find you're doing this unit that's called you know, social issues and social justice or social policy or whatever, you, you wonder, well, why am I doing this? And so it's really trying to make it as relevant as possible. And I think that's a two-way thing. It's partly our job, but I think it's also partly it helps if, for example, you know, the politics colleagues or criminology colleagues make it clear that you know why social policy matters. And I think you know, we would say that social policy provides an awful lot of the context in which the rest of the world, the rest of policy operates. Mm -hmm. I think it, it's it's hard to, um, to to speak to a group of 300 students in a lecture situation um, because it's very hard to get any interaction going. Um, so so that's the main challenge, and um, the fact that you are addressing an audience perhaps who I mean obviously your own undergraduates have an interest in studying social policy, so they're there because they've chosen that particular degree route. Um, but the other students uh, have looked through the huge handbook of modules and perhaps thought, oh, that looks interesting, or, you know, oh, I can't get on any other course, so I'll just do that one, because um, it's the, the easiest option. Um, and so it, it's trying to, trying to bring social policy to, to life um, for, for a range of people who, whose interest level is perhaps different, so some have a commitment to learning about social policy and others um, have to have that commitment <laughs> drawn out of them really, so, so that's, that's the main challenge I think. Everybody's got a mum, everybody's got a grandparent, everybody's got siblings, some of them might have experienced people going into care or know people who are going into care, some of them in today's economy will be working as carers themselves. So they've got experience of it from the employment side of things. So I find it really, really helpful in teaching to try and bring together those perspectives and then point them in the direction of reading that's more theoretical or more empirical that explains their experiences, that gives them a wider perspective. But it starts from them and what they've actually gone through themselves.